guys, Stan here from Euro's Performance. Uh, today we're going to be featuring an install on our shop car, our Audi RS3. It's a 2016 model, the first generation iron block engine. So today we're going to be installing a set of clutches from racing diffs. The clutches will be going in the actual Heldex itself. So the idea is to get more power out of the motor and the gearbox, but we also want to actually get that power down to the wheels. This is one of the most vital um, modifications you can do to the car to prepare it for the extra horsepower that you're going to be putting through to it. It's point is having a whole lot of power, but no grip. So we're going to get started on the process of installing these clutches into the Heldex. Okay, so now we've got the car up in there, as you can see. Um, I'm gonna be showing you guys, we've got to remove a few components just to actually get to the Heldex to replace these clutches. So I'm gonna start off with the uh, exhaust, then uh, the drive shaft and the heat shields that surround that to expose where the Heldex actually is. So uh, this is one of the tools that we use to pull the drive shaft out, attach that to the shaft as such, and then uh, we lay into it with a hammer over here, so it unclips it from the front. Right, so now that we're um, exposed completely onto the Heldex, um, we'll start draining the oil out of the Heldex and start stripping it down. So uh, in our experience, the only reason why this oil actually breaks down when it gets dirty is because the actual clutch is wear. If you have a look inside, you can actually see how black that oil's gotten. It's usually a golden color. So we've got the Heldexes uh, apart and we've got the clutch basket out as you can see. Now I'll be pulling this apart and replacing the clutches. So as you can see this is the um, clutch packs or the clutch housing uh, where all the actual clutches sit inside directly off the shaft. This is the input shaft um, onto it. We'll be taking this basket apart. Just comparing these components, you can actually see how much thinner the OEM ones are. Let's see the new ones, so obviously they're gonna be a lot tighter, grip a little bit harder give us that little bit more response that we just didn't know we were losing. Alright, so let's start assembling with the new clutches. I've now fitted all the clutch packs to the basket itself. As you can see, this is a bit of an in-depth job. So if you'd like to get this done to your Audi RS3, S3, um, and many other listings, feel free to give us a contact at Eurowas Performance, and we are happy to give you a quote. All right, so time to assemble. Put everything back together in reverse order. So next I'll be putting the Heldex pump back in and 
just inspecting, making sure that there's nothing on the mesh, which I've already cleaned off. Make sure that the O-rings are good. Um, usually you would um, replace these, but these O-rings were recently replaced about a month ago when we did the service on the Haldex, so they're still fine. So what we're going to do is just take the vehicle back down, turn the ignition on so that it primes the actual pump, because that pump right now is empty. So if you drive off, and you'll get a fault code from this. So we'll bring it down, turn the ignition on, cycle it, let it prime. Just going to make sure that there isn't any fault codes because I unplugged the wiring loom. Yeah, I'm just running the adaption values for the pump motor just to make sure that it learns its pressures correctly. Okay guys, so all in all, it was a successful install. Car drives amazingly. If you want to see any more of these videos, please hit the subscribe button and like so you can get notifications when we have any new videos coming up. Please leave a comment. And uh, if you have any suggestions or want us to show you guys anything, uh, feel free to ask and we will feature it on the next video. Thank you.